These squid are also known as jumbo squids and red devils, both names with a solid reasoning, and both which we'll be discussing further in this episode, so stay tuned. The Humboldt squid lives in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Originally, they were documented from coastal waters of southern North America and northern South America. However, in recent decades, they've been observed far outside their historical range. For the first documented time, near the beginning of the 21st century, Humboldt squid were seen in the waters of Alaska to the north and Chile to the south. It's believed they've been able to expand their range due to increasing water temperatures around the world. There's also evidence to suggest that these squid can travel in large horizontal migrations, though there isn't substantial observation of this. Another reason these squids may be moving into places they weren't originally documented is that the zone in which Humboldt squid spend their days is increasing. Humboldt squid spend the daytime hours upwards of a third of a mile below the ocean's surface. Here, oxygen levels are so low there's barely enough to breathe. In fact, it's believed that Humboldt squids reduce their metabolic processes while in this oxygen-deprived zone, thus allowing them to remain there without needing to replenish their oxygen supply. At night, as they rise to the surface, the amount of oxygen in the water increases and the squids are able to breathe. They also utilize this opportunity to eat. Humboldt squid eat fish like anchovies, crustaceans like shrimp and krill, and cephalopods like other squids. In a single night, one Humboldt squid may consume quite a bit of food, which of course would indicate these are some big cephalopods. Though not reaching the sizes of colossal or giant squid, Humboldt squid have still earned the common name jumbo squid. These cephalopods can reach 100 pounds in weight and 8 feet in length, including their tentacles. In order to get this big in their short lifespans of two or fewer years, Humboldt squids grow really, really fast. In just eight weeks' time, they can go from 1 millimeter to 100 millimeters in length. When it comes to reproduction, these squids are superstars. It's believed that a female Humboldt squid can produce upwards of 20 million eggs in her lifetime. The eggs are laid in gelatinous masses, which have been observed to protect the eggs inside from bacteria. After just a week, the young squids hatch. When they're younger, they'll travel in larger groups. Humboldt squids are also known as red devils because they flash bright red when caught on a fishing line and brought to the surface. What's fascinating about Humboldt squids is that they've been observed using their color flashes in all assortments of patterns, potentially to communicate with one another in the dark depths of the ocean. One may flash to indicate aggression, or perhaps that a predator is near. Predators to Humboldt squid include sperm whales, seals, and large fish like marlins as well as sharks. But Humboldt squid aren't completely defenseless. In fact, there are documented cases of Humboldt squid attacking human divers with their fist-sized beaks and even drawing blood. For more facts on the Humboldt squid, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Juan Carlito for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.